Jess and welcome to Live Joy Travel. As usual, I am Jess and guess what? I have a brand new country for you guys. Today, I have officially left France and find myself in beautiful Spain. So, I am here by the coast in a town by the name of Tarragona, you guys. And during this trip to Spain, I wanted to try something different. I definitely wanted to see something that I hadn't seen yet before and somebody recommended Tarragona and I decided why not let's come visit this town and guys this place is beyond amazing it is a little coastal town you have the hills you have the sea everything you could imagine you can find in this town but I want to start today by showing you guys some glimpses of this beautiful city so let's go starts right here in front of this beautiful cathedral today. This cathedral right here used to be the focal point of this town here in Tarragona. It was built in the year 1164, you guys. Crazy, I know, crazy to think about. And it was meant to be dedicated to the Virgin Mary. And as you can tell, there's a little bit of medieval architecture to it. And I am just super honored to be here. There is an adjacent museum to this place. Hopefully I'll be able to check it out today. Not sure, but what I do know is that from this point on, I'm gonna take you guys on a walk through this beautiful city. Come with me because I'm super excited to show you guys around and just enjoy the fresh breeze and maybe, just maybe, take you guys to the beach as well. So let's keep moving because the day is young. All right, guys, as we are walking away from the cathedral, I decided that I was going to tell you guys a little bit about this town and the reason as to why it caught my attention when it was recommended to me. And obviously, guys, you know that it is no secret that I lived in Italy, that I love Italy, and that I'm pretty much obsessed with their food and culture. But one thing i did not know was that this city had roman beginnings and that you would be able to find roman ruins here as well as some architecture that was very similar to that of italy and i said what in spain there's no way so i said simon i'm gonna go check it out and here I am. So Simon, if you're watching this, thanks so much for the recommendation. I am having a blast. But guys, we're gonna keep moving. I wanna show you the streets and literally they are postcard worthy. Every single street. to go on a walk through in the streets of Tarragona here. It's time for lunch. Um, before we go see anything else, I have to make sure that I find something to eat. Now right behind me, that's one of their main touristic strips where you can find restaurants galore. Of course, for me, I am going to go look for a hidden place, maybe a mom and pop shop. So come with me and let's continue to walk through this beautiful street, see what kind of gems we can find. After 
walking around the city for a while. We have seen a lot of treasures and we have so much more to see. We've only walked through the streets, guys. This place has so many ruins, so many museums, and so many sites to be seen. But one of the main things that you always have to do when you visit a city is eat. So I finally found a place to sit down and eat. And of course, I am in Spain. So I had to find paella and I got the vegetarian kind. So let me show you guys what my plate looks like. This is delicious. I am gonna continue to eat and then I'm gonna take you guys to our next spot. And I promise you it's gonna be worth the wait. Side. I had to bring you guys lunch was absolutely amazing but I had to show you guys the very best view of town right here from the Mediterranean balcony guys if you find yourself in Tarragona this is one of the best things to do when you first get here is to take a stroll through this promenade right here get a glimpse of the sea now do keep in mind this is not the main beach to visit you are gonna want to go to a different beach and I will be telling you later on in this video the two best beaches to visit whenever you are here but I want to keep moving because I feel like this place has so much to offer you guys the town is absolutely beautiful and it definitely gets overshadowed by the most popular Barcelona which is only about an hour away from here <sighs> I can feel the clean air I was just in Barcelona yesterday, you guys, and I consider going back tomorrow, but I think I'm just gonna stay here because I loved it so much and I've seen Barcelona plenty of times. So this is my plan for the next two days and you guys are gonna come along with me and then I'm gonna be heading to a different city in Spain, but you guys will have to wait and see where that is. So let's keep moving because as you guys know, in Spain they do have siesta time and things will start to shut down here in a little bit. So I want to make sure that I get as much of this beautiful place as possible before I have to go take a nap as well. So let's go. It was quite a walk from where I was. Let me tell you, I had to cross over all the way, bridges, but we have finally made it to the Roman amphitheater that is actually facing the sea, you guys. And it was certainly worth the walk and the little hike that it took to get here. Now guys, out of all the ruins that I've seen, all the amphitheaters that I've had the immense privilege of seeing, this one definitely takes my breath away. I've never seen one that is just so well preserved and that has such a blue sea right behind it. So I'm definitely blown away by this one now. Do keep in mind that today is Monday so I couldn't physically go in there. So the only way to see it is from right here next to the freeway. So as you can tell, <laughs> that's the freeway. This is me. That's the amphitheater right there, you guys. So I'm gonna try and get a closer look but this is certainly, certainly a really, really nice spot. So, see how close that car was? I think it's time for us to move. I've seen so many people standing right here trying to get a glimpse at the amphitheater. But of course, everything with caution. Now, the sidewalk is wide enough for people to stand here safely. I'm not the only one to do it, but still, <laughs> let's move. to get 
get a little bit of a closer look. Now here at the amphitheater there is a garden adjacent to the ruins so we can't go into the ruins like I said but we are able to visit the garden right here. It also gives you pretty good views, not as unstructured as the bridge does, but still a pretty good view. Now, I do want to tell you guys that the amphitheater right here was used just like the other ones for wild beast fights, gladiators, executions, you name it. It happened right there, which is crazy to think about considering that it has such a beautiful view. But yes, it was used for that and it has been here and it is the main focal point of the city and I am overall impressed by it. Now I do, what I really, really do find exciting about this place is that you can actually come and walk the park and just relax and enjoy the view without having to pay the admission to go see the ruin. So guys, I came to the park right here adjacent to the amphitheater. There's benches, there's rose bushes, there's a beautiful view. And I decided, why not, let me sit down and give you guys a couple of fun facts about this place, Tarragona, which by the way, is a UNESCO site because of its ruins and because of its beauty. This city was actually created in the fifth century BC by the Romans and it evolved all the way until it became a colony and Emperor Augustus actually made this place his home and we can see why. It had many notorious visitors throughout the years from Julius Caesar to Augustus to Emperor Hadrian and the list could go on. Now the city has evolved into a modern mix of buildings, tourism, and ruins as many other cities have around Europe. However, there's a lot of efforts going on right here to make sure that they keep a little bit of that charm that established this beautiful city. And I can't wait to show you guys more and tell you more about the city. Now, I do have to keep moving even though I love this park and it is very peaceful. There's so much more to show you here. So. Let's keep moving and I will give you some more facts along the way or maybe just talk to you for a little bit. So let's go. So guys, I kept moving along from the park up onto the higher side of town and we came to the Roman Circus, as you can tell, right behind me, I'm gonna give you a closer view. that can still be seen. The city has officially been built around some of these uh, ruins. So you can kind of tell what they used to be, but there you have it. That's where the circus was. That's where the horse carriages would be. And you can just imagine what it looked like. Um, this is just one of the spots that I wanted to show you guys. Of course, again, it's Monday close, but you guys can see the ruins themselves from up here. Let's keep moving because I am actually trying to find the Central Market and that is going to be our next spot. I believe that checking out the market is a very new place. It's always a must. So let's go check it out. walking and we are almost to the city wall which is where I want to take you guys before heading to the market and the reason why it's because it's such important site like I told you but we are almost there you see this right here this is letting us know that we are getting close 
and as I am on my way, I noticed the floor and I kept taking pictures and I thought I have to show you guys the floor because this little walkway to the city wall is so pretty. The designs on the floor definitely remind me of Florence and the pillars remind me of Greece. <laughs> so I feel like the city has all sorts of influences, but we're gonna keep getting closer to the fountain and then to the walls. So let's keep moving and let's keep walking. a quick short walk after the fountain that I just showed you I finally made it here to the Roser doorway which is right behind me you guys and the reason why I was excited to bring you guys here is because this wall right here is the oldest door to have been built outside of Italy yes guys that right there and it's right here in Tarragona and it started being built in the second century BC guys and it was during the medieval time that that Rosendor wall was created to ensure access from the west you see the little opening right there and so the west would have access to the city and now there you have it that's another fun fact that most people don't know so if you are just as obsessed with Italy as I am Tarragona is definitely a great place for you to visit full of history and full of Roman influence but I want to show you guys we're gonna walk through the little doorway there and then we're gonna keep moving because I want to show you guys something else so let's go in through the doorway now that we are inside the city walls you can see the big wall right here right behind me you can tell it's made out of rocks now it's a really narrow way and they have adapted it for carts to go through you're about to see one of them right there coming through and it feels exciting it's small enough to where when you walk in you actually feel like you're coming into a town so that is definitely pretty cool now I do want to keep moving and show you guys a garden that it's near here so let's go look for it I came out the same way that I went in and I found the park pretty easily this park right here is called Camp the Mart and it's a really pretty garden so let's go have a look really quickly and show you guys the grounds as pretty as this park is this is not my final destination I'm gonna keep exploring this city today because it has lots to offer now I don't know that I'm gonna make it to the beach but I spent all day at the beach about two days ago here in Tarragona and I didn't record a bit of it so I promise that I'm gonna take you guys to see that and include it somewhere in the video but for now I think it's finally time to see if we can pick up and keep walking and trying to find the central market not sure if it's gonna happen but come with me I may just change the plan if I can't find it so let's go show you guys some of the fountains and some of the 
sculptures here in the Rambla section at Tarragona because they also do have their own little Ramblas area just like in Barcelona and I can't wait to show you guys what it looks like so I'm gonna flip the camera around and give you guys a glimpse Let's do a quick walkthrough.
Now, I do want to tell you guys that this part where we're heading to is actually my favorite part of town. And I'm going to show you guys what my neighborhood for the week has looked like. Uh, so yeah, let's go. right behind me where we're walking by is where I like to have my coffee in the mornings during this week uh, because I like most Americans you guys I actually really enjoy the breakfast that Italians have so I'm all pro cappuccino and a brioche croissant whatever people call it nowadays uh, in the morning and then I have a heavier meal but that is usually my stopping point as soon as I wake up and then I walk right back up the street and get ready for the day. Let me show you guys that walk as I continue to show you this. You're gonna see the cathedral, which is where we started this day. I just love this neighborhood. It is my favorite out of the entire, entire city because it has just so much charm. So let's keep moving. I'm exhausted, I'm sticky, and I'm ready for a shower. So let's go. steps right there right below the church is where I've been having ice cream after dinner every night this week. Oh, let me show you, there's some cute dogs right in front of me. Exactly. 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 So the dogs were super cute and the Spaniards were saying that they were actually uh, practicing the art of Doriad which is whenever you put a flag and the bull comes right through and you're supposed to evade the bull. Um, not my cup of tea but I could see how they were thinking that the dogs were imitating something like that. Anyways, the dogs were super cute and I have to keep moving and keep showing you guys. The arches right here that you guys are about to see are medieval in nature and they're so cute and so nice to look at at night. But you get to see under the day. Alright guys, I keep walking down the neighborhood. It's very sleepy right now. Um, really, this neighborhood comes alive at night. That's when it looks at its best. But on the upside of that is that it's really, really peaceful during the day. And I'm really close to a landmark, so it makes it super easy to find. So let me show you that landmark. So here we are, guys. You see the famous landmark right behind me. Let me show you the remnants of what's left. My apartment for the week is not too far from here, only a couple of steps. You also have some fountains nearby. You see them? It's quite charming. Uh, and just imagine this whole place. I may be able to sneak a couple of clips of what it looks at night. Just vibing, lots of lights, lots of life. And I just, I'm able to walk in and out with ease.